Okay, Jez, the boys had a hit out against the Giants this afternoon up here in Brisbane. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, I thought it was a really good hit out. So we played um, 60 minutes against the Giants and uh, it was 15 on 15. And we had to borrow a couple of their flows, which was outstanding by them. Um, and I thought we cracked in uh, for the whole 60 minutes, which is really good. And um, we challenged them during the week and um, coming off two weeks ago when we played the Hawks, we all went into our shells. And just having that young group um, come out of their shells and work together, how much it helps um, their development. And a few boys stood up today, which was really pleasing. It looked like they had a lot of energy from the get-go and that was something that you mentioned just then. Yep. Just talk about the build-up, I guess, to the game and what the key messages were. Yeah, it was a very different preparation um, coming out of Sydney a couple of days ago, or yesterday, and then um, playing a game today, uh, which was really different for the players. Um, but I said to them before the game, we had to create our own energy and um, as much of it is a scrimmage, we try and make it as game-like and um, match official as possible. So. The boys have been really good and their attitude's been outstanding since we've had this. So it's all about getting them ready to um, be ready if they get called up to play seniors and um, hopefully push their way in. And just talking about a couple of players specifically, Joel Amadi looked really good in the ruck today. How did you say, um, see his game? Yeah, he was good. Um, he played against some really big um, ruckmen in Briggs and Flynn and um, competed really well. So um, that was another step back from his injury and um, hopefully he can put um, a couple of games together now. And Harry Reynolds also looked pretty lively up front, but um, at the end of the game um, came off with a shoulder issue. Yeah, so he's sort of been um, niggling or sort of holding a little shoulder injury for a couple of weeks now, but he's playing through it, which is good. And um, we've given challenges to Harry um, since he's been playing, playing forward, wing, back, and he played majority of the game up forward and um, looked really lively and um, finished with a goal or two. So it was really pleasing and um, used a bit of his pace, which um, we're really pleased about. But. We'll just see what his shoulder's like and hopefully it's, um, fingers crossed, it's better than first thought. And we had a couple of questions come through on Twitter from um, some of our fans. Yep. One of them was, what role has Sam Wicks been playing in the side? Yeah, so Wixie uh, plays a bit of, or well, predominantly plays forward and then sort of pinch hit, pinch hit in the middle. Um, but we've just been working on his pressure and um, that's what will get him a game. So as much as he can hurry up the opposition and, you know, second, third efforts, um, getting his tackles up. So that's all we've been focusing on and the rest comes, he'll um, finish with a couple of goals and um, yeah, that'll take care of itself, but it's more about his defensive efforts. And another um, question on Twitter was about Chad Warner, about how he's been going since um, having his senior debut, obviously a few weeks ago and um, coming back into the reserves. Yeah, he got a really good sniff of what senior football's like. And um, I suppose he's got, grown up being an inside mid and going into the seniors, he played a bit more forward, which most young guys do. If, they go, if they're an inside uh, midfielder, they play forward for a little bit. Um, but he's been able to adapt and um, he's been, his attitude has been really good, just wanting to learn and um, he wants challenges each week and um, he's going really well, so he'll get another look at it. And finally, the last question that came through on Twitter, just in regards to Will Gould, what has his focus been in the reserve side? Yeah, Gould, he's, um, he's playing really well. He's uh, had to adapt on playing talls and smalls, really. Um, so just having coming against like Bobby Hill and um, then you're playing against a tall forward in Sproul or Flynn or something. So it's just getting that balance on how you're going to stop um, different individuals when you're playing down back. And he's working on his craft really well, so um, another step forward for Will. Great. Thanks for all that info, Jeremy. Thank you.